Welcome to another ShotRock training video. My name is Mark Taylor. I'm the lead engineer for ShotRock and installer. We're continuing our series on the Toshiba phone system. We're going to be covering voicemail setup. Now, it's important to understand that uh, if you're looking at your cheat sh sheet in front of you, some systems, the access code for the voicemail is 400, and sometimes it's 4,000. Depending upon your extension numbers, if they're three-digit extension numbers, it's usually 400, and if they're four-digit extension numbers, it's usually 4,000. But always look at your cheat sheet to make sure you've got the right number. For this example, uh, my default security code is four zeros, and that was the older system. They uh, always came out with the default security code being 0000. On the new systems, if you look at your cheat sheet, it'll say your default security code is your extension number plus 997. Again, your extension number plus 997 is your default security code. Once you get into your voicemail to do the setup, you're able to change your security code to whatever number you want to be. Listen to the system. A little bit older versions, you're only allowed to put four digits in. The newer ones will say four to seven digits. So what I always like to say is four is a good number. So if it says seven, you can go with four numbers. And uh, just pause and you'll, the system will be looking for that sixth and fifth and sixth and seventh digit if you don't enter them, then it'll come on and say, you know, confirm your password or security code again. So again, older systems, four digits, newer systems up to seven, um, and the default security code will be 997, or your system number plus 997. So look at your cheat sheet, okay? So for this example, I'm going to dial 400. My default security code happens to be four zeros, and I'm going to show you and let the system prompt me, and, and you'll see how it's set up, okay? It's pretty easy. And when you do it, do it with your handset up to your ear. That way you're recording a little bit better volume. Mark Taylor. Please enter your password. Welcome to the voicemail system. As a new subscriber, let's set up your own mailbox. Let's replace the temporary password previously assigned to you. Your password ensures that only you can access your mailbox. Select a number that is easy for you to remember. Please write the number down and keep it in a safe place, since losing the number will prevent you from accessing your mailbox. Please enter your four-digit password now. I'm going to use 1234, but you use something random. We do have people your correct entry, please that get their mailboxes ha uh, hacked, so it's asking me to do it again. Personalize your mailbox. Let's record your name. This will identify your mailbox to your caller. So I'm going to say At my first time, and last name. Record your first and last name. To stop recording, press any key. Mark Taylor. Your name was recorded as... Mark Taylor. To listen to your name... Listen, press record, one. delete, record or continue. Name, press 2. To delete your name, press 3. So I can re-record it. Press stop. Or I can hit continue. To complete your mailbox setup, let's record your personal greeting. At the tone, please record your greeting. To stop recording, press any key. This is Mark. I'm unavailable right now. Please leave your name and number and I'll call you back. Or press zero for immediate assistance. Here's how your greeting will sound. This is Mark. I'm unavailable right now. Please leave your name and number and I'll call you back. Or press zero for immediate assistance. To listen to your Here's my greeting, continue key. press two. To listen. record a greeting, press three. You have no messages in your mailbox. So my mailbox is now set up. I have my options, send, personal options, undelete, and more. So we're going to hang up for right now. So now that my voicemail is set up, I'm ready to go. When calls ring my extension and I don't answer them, whether it's a direct dial number or a call transferred, um, calls will ring about four to five times and then go to my voicemail. That concludes this particular vo uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one.